Skills Pays Bills Boxing back with another video and this time I'm recapping Thomas Whitaker Hart's points victory over Jermaine Springer, 79-74 on Bob Williams card. I don't agree with that. I do not agree with that and I don't I don't like that. I think that scorecard was taking the piss tonight. 79-74. Go back anyone and watch that and tell me that, that was that it was that wide a points decision. I don't agree with that at all. I think it's disrespectful to Springer. I think it's disrespectful to the craft of boxing. Boxing, um, and the reason I say that, the opening few few rounds, Springer was more than holding his own in those opening few rounds. He was more than holding his own. Uh, for me, Whitaker Hart was too reliant on. He was just constantly looking to shift back that little half step, so he stays at the end of range. He was waiting on Springer to to come in. So what he would do is shift back and try and shoot counter punches. A little bit similar to how Bentley caught Heffron last night with that right hand over the top of the jab. That's what he wanted Springer to do. Springer is showed an intelligence tonight. He was twitching, fainting. And when he did jab, he would make sure that he would come, come in and, and come off of a little faint. And then he would step in and he would keep himself protected as he jabbed to the body. He wouldn't just open himself up to counter punching opportunities. He was compact. He didn't give anything up easy. And if anything was to be taken from him, Whitaker Hart had to had to earn it. He's from a good camp, you know, Al Osta, his trainer. I remember speaking to him for a few years on, on the boxing forums. Good young technical coach up in Leeds. And you could see that. You could see that. Um, that Springer's been working. I've seen some of the stuff they had on Instagram a while, a long while ago. And you can see the stuff they're working on. And Springer, to be honest, comes out of this fight tonight, I think, a winner in his own right, because he's competed against the guy who's operated at a high level in the amateurs. He's managed by Tony Bellew, who, I've got to be honest, I did notice, it does make you wonder if Sky have actually had a little whisper in his ear and told him, cut out all the bollocks on the, on the side, cut out all that narcissism with the shouting and the screaming to, to let people know you're there. Um, he was relatively quieter tonight than he was before but look Whitaker Hart as the fight went on he had to be more creative he had to and I don't think he was that creative but what he did do he had to to, to, to garner those opportunities and open them up he had to be had to throw he had to be more there was more volume he had to because in the opening sequence of the fight he was just limited to just waiting on counter punching opportunities and I thought Springer was more than holding his own and taking some of those early half of, um, half of the fight rounds. So from rounds one to four, it was more than competitive. Do I see that Whitaker Hart then just run and, and clean sweep the rest of the second half of the fight? I don't think it was that a clean sweep. You know, I think it was more than close over eight rounds. I think that uh, Springer, the, the things that he does need to work on was, or what he did struggle with tonight was shooting the right hand from too far out. But then again, he kept himself in a position where as he shot the right hand, as he fell off balance and he fell in with it, at least he got low and kept himself low. Little bits of ring craft I saw tonight were impressive. Whitaker Hart's got a nice style. He's a tall fire. You can see what he's looking to do. He likes to shoot over the top of your, your punches and counter punch. But he's got to work on a few things. He's got to be more creative in his openings. He needs to open things up for himself utilizing the jab and not wait on other people to make mistakes sometimes you've got to be creative with your offense but overall good points victory and a good learning fight for Whitaker Hart but I just don't agree with those scorecards look for me it was a two or three point fight no more than that great effort from Springer I'd love to see him again on a matchroom show Frank Warren or a Hennessy show a televised opportunity again for him I think he'll be a great fight for a lot of prospects and have the opportunity to establish himself you know, if he really wants it. And as for Whitaker Hart, good performance because it was a tough fight and it was a good learning fight for him, you know, and um, just needs to be a little bit more creative in opening up the opportunities for himself. But again, a good performance. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on this fight and the fights tonight. And please like, share and subscribe. It does a massive help for this channel to grow. And may I just say thank you so much for everyone that's subscribing and watching and commenting and getting involved. Loving it, especially during this lockdown. It is rubbish, let's be real. Um, it's been absolutely poxy, but at least we've got the boxing and we've got the sport we love. Still going, still going strong. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.